So you want to add sound into your VR chat world? Not a problem. We're going to go over everything from basic to more intermediate sound uses in this video, and it should be easy to replicate, and the uses are really only limited by your imagination. At first, we're just going to start at the most simple level. So all we need to do is go to audio, add in an audio source. And then we're going to need some form of an audio clip. Personally, I've only experimented with MP3s, but you can probably use other formats or convert them into MP3s if you need to. All right, so I'm just gonna pull in some old audio asset from a game I was developing. I didn't end up using any of these, so it's no big deal to throw them in here. And we're just gonna use this one. It's just a heartbeat sound effect. Nothing fancy here, but you can use anything you would like. Now, we have our audio clip, and we have play on awake, which means as soon as the world loads, the sound will play. And currently, it is in a 2D audio format. We're not going to worry too much about that at the moment. But it is important to note that this is how it's by default set up. And you do have a lot of options here. If you're an audiophile, you might know how to use these to achieve some effect you would like. Personally, I don't really. But that's okay, because we are going to do some cool stuff with this. So we have Play on Awake and Loop. We don't, we're not going to change anything, we're just going to leave it as is, as is and hit play. Now we can hear, there is indeed immediately a heartbeat playing. But this isn't really what 90% of us want to do, because you don't just want constant noise going on in your world. It probably would not go over well with people. So what we're going to do is attach it to another object. Again, you can pick up any object you would like. We are just going to use a cube, as this is a great sample object to experiment with. But this could be like a speaker or a microphone or anything you want. So let's child our audio source to our cube. And we're going to call this cube sound on interact. And I think you can go see where we're going from here. Now let's go ahead and reset our position so they are in the same spot. And the next thing we're going to do is get rid of this play on awake. We do not want that. And we are going to change our spatial blend to 3D. And our max distance here to, let's say, 5. Now we can actually see the distance at which the sound will basically be playing. And you'll still hear it slightly outside this, but it'll be much quieter. Actually, here, we'll keep this at 500 so we can examine the difference. Alright, so we have an audio source and a cube, but now we need to add an udon behavior to our cube. We're going to create a new one. And I bet you guys can guess what it's going to be called. Sound on interact is what we are going with. Okay, now we need to edit our sound on interact script. So let's go ahead and open that up. And I have prepared our scripts as always. So essentially what this does is it takes an audio source that we can plug in. If the audio source is playing, then it stops on click. And if it isn't playing, it plays. This lets us turn off the audio if we want to. Otherwise, when we clicked it, it would just start over and over and over and over and over. This is both useful for looping sounds and sounds that stop when they're finished. So it's a good tweak to be able to turn them off when we're using something like this. 
now you'll see we have an audio source and we need to plug in our audio source. Now this should work as we set it up. So when we click it, we have a heartbeat. You can pretty much you can hear it from pretty far away. So we are going to change that by changing the max distance to five. Now, when we go in and do this again, it'll get quieter as we move away. Much much faster. And you can see on our bottom right hand corner of the screen where we are at as far as the max volume. So as we move away, we can see that line come and go. Now for other feature, we can click it again and it'll stop. So this works as intended, but a lot of the times like this would be a great use case for let's say UI sound effects or picking things up or interacting with things you want a sound to play. But sometimes when you enter a certain area, you want a sound to play. That's pretty common in video games and things like that. So that isn't done with a use case trigger. That's done with a, uh, a trigger. I'm sorry, not an interact. Trying to get my verbiage right here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and clone this. So we have another cube with the same audio source already set up for us. And all we're going to have to do is remove this Udon behavior and add a new one. And we are going to call this sound on trigger instead of sound on interact and we'll rename it in our scene as well okay so it's set up but we have to actually put in the code now so let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and test it now. Let's make sure everything is set up correctly. And we need to add the audio source again because we changed that script. So now when we walk through this cube, it should play our sound. I don't know why I pressed that button. Oh, we forgot to do one other thing. We need to actually change the box to a trigger. And as we can expect, this works. However, since we didn't add the if else statement, every time we walk through it, it starts replaying. Just a heads up on how that works because of the slight difference in the code structure. I would say that covers up to about intermediate use of audio sources, but we are going to want to take this maybe a little further. Let's dip our toes into the end of intermediate skill level and maybe even get into the advanced audio uses. Right now, what we have set up will only work locally. And what that means is it'll only work for the person who's interacting with the sound. But I can think of several use cases where you'd want the sound to play globally, which means for everyone. In other words, a networked event. This drastically increases the complexity of what we're doing, but 
let's not let that stop us. Let's get into it. So let's start with our sound on interact. This will pretty much be the same either way for both. But we're going to have to make another script. We could modify the original, but I think it's good to have separate scripts in case you want to do a mix of things and not just one. So let's call this one as soon as we get to that menu. Sound on interact network. All right, so you'll probably notice this code is a lot longer. So I'm going to um, very slowly, here's the beginning, just in case for anybody that wants to copy this from the video and the end. So you should be able to see all of it. Again, not trying to gatekeep here, but it is available on my Patreon as well if you just want to download it. Or it will be, rather. Okay. So let's go ahead and save that. And go back in. Okay, we did end up getting a massive compilation error. And that is because I forgot a single line. We need this uh, line 9 here. Make sure you put that in. That comes after the bracket. The very first bracket. Okay. So we need to add our audio source back in, and now, again, I can't really test this in the video because it's just me, and networking generally requires more than one different player. Maybe I'll find somebody to help me with these videos eventually. But as we can see, it works exactly like our other one, except for this one should play for everybody in your world, not just you. All right, well, I spent two hours trying to fix my last and most advanced example, but I couldn't quite get it there. So we're going to end this video here with two simple ways to add audio to your world. And not just two ways, but variations within those ways. So we can have it really any way you want it for the most part. If this helped you out, consider liking, subscribing, or commenting. It really helps the channel grow. My YouTube is not monetized as of yet, so if you want to support future tutorials, check out my Patreon. Every little bit helps me keep making these videos. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.